That's why I never get any work done. So rabbits come and ride my hovercraft. The problem with like having like a bat cave like this is the more people that know about it, the more people want to hang out. Right. I like to be prepared. I like to have everything. Prepared but for a fight? Anything. Yeah. Like the zombie apocalypse, like end of the world, like I got like shit upstairs stocked with like food and like I have every video game ever made. I, I, I mean... <laughs> what about I, the systems? They won't be able to plug in anywhere. There's an apocalypse. I know. But you could save the games you're for being the next too, You're world. being too logical right now. What did this place used to be? Just like weird murders? This was a uh, metal fabrication place for... Um, they made like um, atomic bombs, like the casings for bombs and stuff. Downstairs is where I do all the painting. Up here is like where I like watch TV, play video games, work on this kind of stuff. I'm trying to get focused, I guess, right now. I'm like really scatterbrained because um, I can't, you know, like I'll start, I'll get all my paints ready and get ready to paint and then like Money Mark will show up and go, hey, right. check out this new shit that I just figured out. And I'm like, okay, what do you want to do with your life? How old are you? I'm 23. Yeah, what do you want to yeah. do with your life? I don't know, it's hard to think too far ahead. Like right now I'm working as like an actor and I like that a lot. Right. But I do want to draw a lot more. What's the dream scenario with acting? Dream like scenario? You're like making your own movies, you yeah. do have control. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so say you get there. Okay. You're in this dream scenario where you can pick to be in any movie you want. Mm -hmm. You have full control of everything. Then what? Right. Then I'd probably go back to drawing again. You know, you're like there's this there's this super super passionate movie I want to do. But, but say at that point you've already done like 10 of those things right. and you've done everything you want and then you're getting ready to work on this next movie that you're passionate about that you have full control over and then someone shows up with a hovercraft right. and goes, hey, check this out. You're like, oh, fuck. Do you feel frustrated? Well, my life's entered the twilight zone. I've, I've made like so much money and like life is like a fucking video game it's like a game like I got to this weird like bonus level where I exist out of that game now so it's just a strange now that I am where I am and know the people that I know it's like you get to see like behind the curtain and stuff and yeah I mean everyone's had the experience of um, going into a museum and being like oh what the fuck is this like why is this in here you know or yeah. who 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 are the people that, that decided, that, decided yeah. that this was like got to be in here yeah. and like now that i've met those people and most of them are like horrible people and it's just like oh shit and the art world is more corrupt than like the stock market than any of this gangster shit i just feel like the purest form of it is is graffiti right. or, or murals you know there's so many people that will like never walk into like a nice art gallery or a museum yeah and their only exposure to art is like like a cereal box or television or graffiti right. or a mural and so that's sort of that's still fun for me i just did the mural in hawaii and that was right. like crazy because they're just not used to like anything new i started painting this mural like literally just started like five minutes in like i just took some paint and started the mural and this guy just huge hawaiian guy just sits sits across the the street like plops himself down like he had nothing going on i guess and he's just like boo and i was like all right whatever you know and he didn't leave and he just kept booing me for like half an hour and like consistently yeah and i'm like this is crazy how the fuck am i gonna paint with this guy booing me and i go 
all right, let's just try something different, you know? So yeah. I, like, stick my hand out and I go, hey, man, my name's Dave, nice to meet you. He's like, get your fucking hand out of my face. Okay. He's like, you suck, you're fucking ugly, whatever you're doing's ugly. Just bring this graffiti shit to our island. I was like, bro, literally, I just, I literally just started five yeah, you're minutes you're like, leave, ago. come back in an hour and see I how said, cool look, it looks. I said, look, if you come back tomorrow and you still think it's ugly, you know, like, then uh, I'll sit here and boo with you. And he's like, he thought about it. He's like, all right, all right, I could do that. Oh, cool. And so then he shook my hand and then like, yeah, he came back a day later and was like, that's awesome. And I was like, see, can you like, see what yeah. happens when you like keep an open heart and open mind? And he's like, yeah, yeah, cool, bro. And is there other stuff in here? We could there is other stuff. This is, uh, this is where we have our radio station. Oh, rad. Yeah. What's your radio station called? It's koreansgodbad.com. Oh, that's cool. It has like mesh for us. Here, keep that mask on. <laughs> and hold this. Oh, Jesus, this is real? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Th there's nothing in it, right? No. Okay. Jesus <laughs> what is this called? That's an AR-15. Um, it's like, has a few modifications to make it legal. Because it used to be fully automatic. Have you ever shot uh, it with real stuff in it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, uh, we had one incident in this neighborhood once, that's why I brought it over here. As protection? Yeah. And, uh, thank you. <laughs> do you always hold that while you do the podcast? No, this, I sleep next to this <laughs> when I sleep here. So who's the podcast with? Who the podcast is with my friend Joey Kurtzman and this comedian Yoshi Obayashi and my friend Harry Kim. And that's Harry. And, uh... That's uh, Deant Ward's first U.S. show at Coachella. Yeah, they asked me to dance on stage naked. I wasn't ready for that, so. Yeah, I the shorts are the same effect. I got this uh, Iron Man mask at Toys R Us, and I just spray painted it. I never did backup dancing before, and it was, you know, I'm on stage dancing in front of like thousands of people, and like in this mask, and in my head, I feel like I'm dancing like crazy, and like it's awesome. Like I, in my head, I'm like dancing like New Kids on the Block. Right. And then afterwards, they showed me a video on YouTube, and I was like, this fat dude, just like, uh. <laughs> You ready? Okay. It's my room. Yeah. <laughs> Can I enter? Yeah. Wow, it's very cozy. There's a um, junkyard across the street where they start junking cars at like 5 in the morning. So it sounds like Megatron and Optimus Prime are like in a boxing match, so it just like wakes me up and then I go get a hot dog at 7-Eleven and start my day. I, I like people, but I also like hate them. So it's like, I get this like real disconnect and I try to, it, whether it's subconscious or, or consciously, like I try to just be awake when everyone else is sleeping. Right. This is weird. This is like the most amount of people that have ever been in here. <laughs> There's nothing on the walls here. Yeah. yeah. Min minimalist uh, Zen, what is that? Feng Shui? Yeah. <laughs> what is that thing? This is uh, my Lincoln Continental. It's the car I always wanted. And I've been a starving artist most of my life. And then when I started making that Vegas cash, mm -hmm. I just went on Las Vegas Craigslist and I was like, fuck this. So I bought this shit cash. And, you know, I was living in a tiny, shitty apartment in San Jose. And I was driving back with the top down, just screaming like, fuck. But it's like, you know, you got to keep a car like this like yeah garage I didn't have a garage so it was like do you get a nice house and a nice career first and then get a car like this right or do you get this car first and have this be the thing to motivate you to get a nice house and a nice whatever so it I got the for you backwards I did it backwards I got yeah. the car first and then what is thumbs up vice asked me they're like what is the show you can do like very cheaply and quickly and I was like hitchhiking unscripted and something crazy always happens you know so they're like, all right, go ahead and do it. And so it was me, my friend Harry, and like a cameraman and a car that follows us. So four people basically. And it's hard. Life on the road is hard, especially like every day when it's like, hey, you got to come up with something and get into some kind of shenanigans, you know? That's somewhere along the line, the conversation always turns into like, we're not like you, Dave. We don't want to die. But I don't know. If you live a lifestyle that like is dangerous and you can go to jail or you can like, get picked up by like rapist murderers and 
it just sort of changes everything on how you do anything. You know, it, it changes like how you paint, it changes how you like think about life, it changes like uh, how you have sex. <laughs> I always thought I'd be dead by now, which is nice that I'm not, I guess. So yeah, you're very I much feel alive. like everything is just gravy from here on out, <laughs> you know? All right. So this is James Jean. This is my favorite artist. He's the best artist in the world. Got him working on finishing all my paintings for me right now. Get to work. Can we look at some stuff, even yeah. if it's like old or Yeah, finished? sure. You know, I let a lot of paintings sit. The last time I worked on this was like a year ago, maybe. Is it hard to come back to pieces? Well, yeah, I started this painting. I didn't like it. And then like, just the same way, like when musicians stop by, like I let every artist that comes by work on this painting. Oh, right. So there's like 10 artists that worked on this. And then I just paint over it. And then like, you could work on this painting too, if you want, you know? Yeah. There, I'll show you the last time I painted was, you use oil paint? It's something I've been trying to do, but it's harder for me. I use like acrylic and ink mainly. All right, so oil is oil, so it like right. almost never dries. Yeah, so you get to keep using so it. So this is the last time I painted. You know David Chang, Momofuku? Yeah, I mean, I don't know him, but I go to that, I went to that restaurant. People always mistake because there's like five Korean guys doing shit, I guess. Right. So <laughs> they're like, <laughs> in the food world. I'd be in New York and they're like, D Dave Cho? And I'm like, yeah, and like, like, your food is amazing. I go, oh, thank you, you know? <laughs> This is the one thing I do, I never correct anybody. Like if someone calls yeah. me and goes, hey, is Yolanda there? I'm like, yeah, hold on, let me get her. Like, uh, you just- It's always fun to play it out, you never oh, know. Oh, for sure, I play everything out to the very end. Yeah. I'm a hooker, like I just, I'm like, who do you want me to be, baby? Like, <laughs> like whatever you want me to be, like if I get off a plane in Africa and they're like, oh, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. It's like, okay, cool, he's been dead for like, you know, a lot of years, but- Yeah, that's- I'm like, why they want me to be Bruce Lee? Right. What am I going to educate them? Like, yeah. it's it's just better. I don't know. For me, it's better. <laughs> I'm like, I like it when everyone's ignorant. When people are educated, it's, it makes life miserable. You know? Yeah. Do you think there's an alternative of like how it can evolve our world to make it more accessible? The internet is like the game changer, right? It's yeah, like totally. it's like the wild west. Like anyone could do anything and get it to as many people as possible. Like, yeah. Um, have you heard of Kane's Arcade? No. It's this kid. He's right down the street. Nine-year-old kid, East LA. He just made this arcade because he loves video games out of cardboard. We should go, actually. Here, you give it to Bye, Katie. Bye. Thank you. Ready, set, go. Ready, ready? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Nice. Nice. How many have you made? Gracias. Let's go, guys. What are you doing today, Kane? Uh, nothing. I gotta juice up the go kart. They used they used it up. I rode around what? Yeah, it's fun. I like the go kart a lot. Yeah, Kane, I'm gonna paint your house real quick. Do you want me to paint on this side? I don't know. Here, pose for me. our first collaboration together. Right there. High five. Yes. Actually just ruined yours. Yours was better. <laughs> Sorry. Here, why don't you keep this spray paint? 
I think you're gonna get some good use out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you painted with spray paint before? Really good at it's it. It's fun. 